Chris Lyles, and before we get into the documentary, I just want to take a second and thank uh, thank IndieWise first for accepting Dirty Chucks into your film festival. You didn't have to. I'm completely honored and I'm grateful. So again, thank you IndieWise for accepting Dirty Chucks. I want to thank all the artists, all the people who signed up to be a part of it, sharing their stories, sharing their talents, sharing their time. Again, I'm thankful. I, I, I honor you, I appreciate you in so many ways. I want to thank uh, my cameraman, Space Kid Rocket. <laughs> uh, he's a clown, but without you, bro, I would have nothing. I'll be not where I am today. So again, I thank you. Um, once again, thank you, Indu Eyes. I thank everybody who supported or uh, who's telling somebody about the Dirty Chucks brand. It's definitely a movement and the underlying title and the underlying objective and motive that we have here is real people, real talent, and real stories. All right, I'm Chris Lyles and I'm out. So initially I wasn't sure where or how I was going to start this docu-series, but I did know that I wanted to locate people that were not only talented, but that were also inspiring and, and had a story to tell. And when it came down to it, I just went back to my hometown. Philly. Yep, Philly is where I was born and raised, and it's home to Naida, creator of Happy Couture, Quan Don, rapper from North Philadelphia, Neha Mystery, Indian artist, Nakia Brown, production and stage manager, Eric Norris, the next MMA fighter from Philadelphia. I dreamt it. You had a dream about it? I dream everything. So, how does a dream typically start? Um, I just be making shit. And <laughs> so I, I have the ability to remember everything that I dream. Okay. I have the ability to change my dreams as I'm dreaming. I woke up and made this. Stop. And I messaged I messaged the model and was like, what you doing today? She was like, well, what's up? What we doing? I was like, we here about 11. And she was like, cool. And I shot it that day. So now it's growing. I've seen Naida do a lot of things, and I've seen her make some amazing pieces, but the most inspiring thing about Naida for me is the fact that she battled cancer, and all while battling through cancer and going through that hard time in her life, she used her art and her passion not only to take her through, but to also tell a story of how she made it through. She truly is one of the strongest people that I know. This is Naida. recently did a painting for this famous rapper who's like legendary iconic and I heard it was like posted on Instagram viral all these things I mean that's just what I heard I could I be wrong I did I um Snoop Dogg I did a painting with Snoop Dogg and he did receive it a friend of mine his brother got killed in jail from abuse from the prison guards and he asked me specifically for something special. And so within like four days and a few nights, I was able to paint a portrait of Snoop and I was able to send it to him within time for my friend to meet him. And he received my picture. For someone to experience being raped, kidnapped, and then have their children taken from them by their partner, and still have the ability to stand and continuously promote love and art truly has to be someone of great strength and admirable faith. This is Neha Mystery. Why an MMA fighter? Why that? I tell everyone in life, everyone is the most honest sport there is. Why do you say honest? Because you can't play mixed martial arts. 
your, your very life is at stake. You find out who you are when you're in that cage alone. There's no teammates. You can't hide behind a good shooter. You can't hide behind a good offensive line. It's you and your camp. After that, once you're in that cage, you're alone. I know many people or many guys and women who say they want to be a fighter, who say they want to be an athlete. But the level of discipline, the level of focus, and the level of determination that I've seen from this guy truly is not only applaudable, but it shows the, the level of dedication that he is willing to give for something that he loves so much. This is Eric Norris. Just to shine on them guys while my eyes on the prize Mama said you gotta watch them, send them guys in the skies So my eyes on them guys What was the biggest thing, or the biggest obstacle, the biggest challenge The toughest thing that you had to face in, so far? I have to say when my mom died in 2015 That was her, how did, but that how made me mature die? as a man though She just died in her sleep What was your relationship like with your mom before that? We was real good. It was crazy, but she was just at my house like a week. Yeah. A week ago. Not even. Yeah. A couple of days. Like Tuesday, and she died seven. And she passed on sleep, and they didn't say why. Uh -huh. Yeah, she died on sleep. Party at the rest. Yeah. How did that hit you? Mm. Man, it fucked me up, but I think I was holding a lot inside. I didn't really react to it. Yeah. And so some of it started to come out, but I tried to make it come out through my music. Right? Yeah. Sometimes they can be hard though trying to do that and use it. These days, if you ask a group of high school or college students how many of them have aspirations or goals of being a rapper, I'm sure most of them would raise their hands. However, there's not many that know or that have a story like the story of Sir Quan Don. Nakia Rizal. Production, stage, manager for a couple of artists. Um, to name a few, she has worked with uh, Music Soul Child, Matt Wilds, Fantasia, The Jacksons, Jill Scott, um, uh, Charlie Wilson. Uh, Make sure you get some work with Jay Z. So, um, She's from Philly, and a good thing, uh, one, I don't know, I guess it's, it's kind of cool because she's a friend of mine, and we've known each other for years, like through the struggle, so we're going to go talk to her and get her story. I've worked with, currently I work with Tyrese, um, I worked with the Jacksons recently, um, I work with Mac Wild. My dream client would be... I worked with my dream client. I worked with the Jacksons. That's that was pretty. Cool. <laughs> I, I worked with the Jacksons. We went to London. We went to some place called Festival. Um, Festival is a it's the new Woodstock. So that was on. Um, I had to take a ferry. So when I was in London, I had to take a ferry to this little place where the population of the entire town is about 800 people. And the only prevalent things that go on in that town is festival. And so we performed, we, meaning the Jacksons, performed for over 100,000 people. When you have good friends, it's an amazing thing. And when you have good friends who have struggled with you while you were working towards your goals and your dreams, those friends have the ability to always bring a sense of pride, humility, and happiness to your life. And it makes it even better to see them be successful. This is Nakia Brown. Dory, just keep wow. swimming. Just keep swimming? Just keep swimming. Hey, you, with the dirty job. <laughs> I have three words I can inspire someone. Dedicate yourself, loyalty to yourself, and always be successful. Motherhood. Motherhood. Done. Fight crap. Give me broken, you help me out. 
three words to inspire. Three words. God is good. God is good. Man, shout out to God.